So here, a lot of the analysis was uh, obtained in sample problem uh, friction, uh, applied force at an angle. So in that uh, example problem, uh, the analysis the analysis um, gives an equation for the maximum angle for which static friction applies. So we can say that the maximum angle would be equal to arctan of the coefficient of static friction. And this is equaling tangent, arctangent of 0.63. And this is approximately 32 degrees. Now, 32 degrees, however, this is going to be greater than the angle stated in the problem. And if that's the case, my apologies, greater than. And if that's the case, the block does not slide. So this would be your answer for part A. Because the maximum angle does not uh, exceed the uh, dip angle in the problem, therefore the block does not slide. Now for part B, we need to apply su uh, Newton's second law. Uh, and we can say that the sum of forces in the x direction uh, would be equal to the mass times the acceleration in the x direction. Uh, we know that this is going to be zero. And we know that this is going to be the force applied plus mg sine of theta minus the maximum static frictional force. And we can say that the sum of forces in the y direction would be equal to the mass times the acceleration in the y direction. This would have also be equal to zero because the uh, system has translational equilibrium in both the x and y directions. Uh, this would equal force normal minus mg cosine of theta. And in this case, we can say that if uh, force normal would be equal to mg cosine of theta, and we have an angle of 24 degrees, and we have a mass equaling 1.8 times 10 to the seventh kilograms, uh, we can uh, find the force needed in order to um, uh, keep this block stationary, essentially. So the force would be equal to mg times the coefficient of static friction. Uh, this would be times cosine of theta minus sine of theta. And once we plug in all of our, all of our um, knowns, uh, we also can plug in that the coefficient of static friction equals 0.63. So once we plug in the mass, the coefficient of static friction, the angle, as well as the uh, uh, the force, nor uh, force normal into the x, uh, the sum of forces in the x direction, we can solve for the force uh, applied. So the force applied would be equal to 1.8 times 10 to the seventh kilograms multiplied by 9.8 meters per second squared times 0.63 cosine of 24 degrees minus sine of 24 degrees. And we find that the force is going to be equal to 3.0 times 10 to the seventh newtons. So this would be our final answer. Again, we have to round to two significant figures because our mass is only accurate to two significant figures. Therefore, we must round to two significant figures for that force. Again, 3.0 times 10 to the 7th newtons is your final answer. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.